What's up everyone? Coach Silas Sham here from Absolute Soccer Strategic Player Development. And welcome back to another episode of Tech Tech Tuesday. Our weekly look at either a technical or tactical element of the game of soccer. This week we're going to look at off the ball movement, specifically the inside outside cut, and see how attacking players can create separation from the defenders to score more goals. You're going to see how this looks in open play, but also how it looks and how it can be used in a set play situation. So let's take a look at these examples of the inside outside cut for off the ball movement to create room for ourselves to score more goals and win more games. Let's take a look right now. So as we look at this example here, one thing you're going to see is Costa's movement off the back shoulder of the defender. So Isco has the ball, cuts in, and look where Costa is positioned. Right here you can see that he's just behind the defender and this is causing the defender to have to look at the ball in front of him and also check behind him. And what this does is create room for Costa to pull off his move. Once Costa establishes his position off the back shoulder of the defender, you'll see him dash in front and then quickly change direction to go behind the defender creating plenty of separation to get a free tap in at the back post. Let's take another look here. Again, we have Costa, who positions himself behind the defender's back shoulder, quick dash in front, and then sharp change of direction to go behind the defender. The defender bites, and now tap in coming up. Great ball from Isco, by the way. But still, the position Costa takes up makes the goal possible because of his movement off the ball. Simple enough, right? Too easy, right? Well, watch the best player in the world, Ronaldo, right now, do the exact same thing on this play here. He starts in the middle, quick shift into the center, shift outside, easy header with probably three yards on either side of him to make the goal happen. Let's run it back. So Ronaldo starts arcing towards the back shoulder of the defender, then takes one step inside and then cuts to the other side. That one step shifts the defender two or three steps because he's worried about Ronaldo's pace inside and that just gives him enough space to get enough separation to score. Easy. In this example, we see the same thing from Giroud against Paraguay. Again, he takes up a position that is in front of the defender and then cuts in, cuts out. Easy goal. Plenty of space. Now he does use this in a little bit of a different situation. The situation isn't running at pace, but it is kind of standing up the defender. But still, you see the basic movement. Step inside, step back outside, cut, goal. Easy. Fantastic movement from Giroud there. And again, makes the play much easier for himself just because he takes one or two steps inside, bursts out, and uses his strength in this case, not so much his pace like Ronaldo the last time. In this example, we'll see the same thing from Christian Benteke against Liverpool. On the corner, cut inside, cut outside, goal. Nice and easy. Now take specific note of where he positions himself to start the play. Notice that he stands off the back shoulder and causes Chan to have to look at him at a weird angle compared to where the ball is. Chan doesn't know which one to watch. You see again in this replay. He doesn't know whether to look right, left, right, left. Now he thinks he has him covered and Benteke just beats him easily. That's not the best defending, but the basic movement inside, outside from Benteke is fantastic. Here you go, you see the cut. Fakes the run in front of Chan and then cuts around the back, gets plenty of space in the middle, free ball, goal. So thus far we've seen examples where the cut has happened. Quick cut inside one or two steps and then a quick shift to the opposite direction, either in front or behind the defender. In this case, I do want to highlight how Cavani actually doesn't do the full movement and actually goes for a fake and still, because of his movement, creates space for himself. So here he is between two defenders and notice what he does upcoming. As this ball gets played, you're going to see he again is way behind positioning himself off the far shoulder of the defender and then you just see him pretend to sprint. You'll see his arm and his leg move in a one quick motion and then he darts in front of the defender. And that little motion just causes the defender to look. You can see the defender looking back and forth. And then that quick cut across, easy goal is fantastic and that's great movement off the ball. It's the little things that make the goals happen for these kind of attacking players. 
All right, so I hope you found this helpful, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. As you start going into your games this upcoming week, think about how you can create separation from your defender. A simple inside-outside cut is all you need sometimes to just get that extra couple yards to be able to get the shot off cleanly and pick your spots to score more goals. Now this isn't the only way to create separation, but it is a really easy and effective way to do so, both from open play or from a set play situation. As we're training this upcoming week, we're going to work on finishing. Let's make sure that we're using this kind of motion and we'll look at how we can implement this motion during the game situation itself. So. Coach Silas Sham from Absolute Soccer, Strategic Player Development, signing out. I hope you guys have a good week, and I'll see you guys on the field soon. See you later.